If you're suffering from arthritis, the foods you eat can either improve your symptoms or make it worse. The problem is, there's a lot of bad and conflicting information when it comes to picking the right foods if you have arthritis. There are more than 100 different forms of arthritis and related diseases. The most common types include osteoarthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, psoriatic arthritis, fibromyalgia, and gout. The common denominator is they all involve some degree of inflammation. It only makes sense to shift your focus on avoiding highly inflammatory foods. As you probably know by now, arthritis can cause debilitating, life-changing pain in different ways. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, more than one-third of the adults who have arthritis report that it limits their leisure activities and work, and 25% of them say it causes severe pain. So here are the top 10 foods and drinks to avoid if you have arthritis. Make sure to stick around until the end because I'm also going to give you the best foods to eat if you have arthritis and joint pain. Number 1. Refined Sugar Eating foods high in refined sugar causes nothing but harm to the human body. But this is especially true if you have arthritis because refined sugar causes inflammation. The problem is, refined sugar is everywhere. It's found in breakfast cereal, pastries, cookies, candy, ice cream, soda, juice drinks, and other seemingly innocent foods like barbecue sauce, ketchup, and other condiments, as well as common salad dressings like French and Italian dressings. That's why it's important to read food labels. In a study involving 217 people with rheumatoid arthritis, participants noted that among 20 foods, Sugar-sweetened soda and desserts seem most likely to worsen their arthritis symptoms. It's because foods that contain refined sugar trigger the release of proteins in the body called cytokines, which cause inflammation. You also want to watch out for hidden sugars. There are actually over 60 different names for it. Watch out for names like rice syrup and corn syrup, and look for ingredients that end in O's like fructose, dextrose, sucrose, or maltose in ingredients list. Again, learn to read labels. Number 2. Gluten-containing foods Gluten is the main structural family of proteins comprising all forms of wheat. If you think about pizza dough, it's what gives it that stretchy quality. Common foods that contain gluten are things like breakfast cereal, pasta, noodles, bread and pastries, sauces and gravies, as well as beer. The problem is, a lot of people either have an allergy to gluten or they have gluten intolerance because humans can't digest gluten properly. Research shows that gluten causes intestinal permeability, otherwise known as leaky gut, in all people. Leaky gut then leads to inflammation, a key factor in most illnesses, many mental health issues, and neurodegenerative diseases like dementia. According to a Harvard paper, leaky gut may be associated with autoimmune diseases like lupus, type 1 diabetes, multiple sclerosis, as well as chronic fatigue syndrome, fibromyalgia, arthritis, allergies, asthma, acne, obesity, and even mental illness. People with celiac disease, an autoimmune disease triggered by gluten, also have a higher risk of rheumatoid arthritis than those without celiac disease. Number 3. Ultra-processed foods Ultra-processed foods are things like fast food, breakfast cereal, frozen meals, and baked goods. Notice a common appearance of the typical foods most people eat on a daily basis? In fact, 60% of calories from the standard American diet come from these ultra-processed foods. Ultra-processed foods are generally high in gluten-containing refined grains, added sugar, high fructose corn syrup, preservatives, and other potentially inflammatory ingredients like trans fats from partially hydrogenated oils, all of which may worsen arthritis symptoms. Research shows that ultra-processed foods may increase your risk of rheumatoid arthritis by contributing to inflammation and obesity. In a study in 56 people with rheumatoid arthritis, those who ate higher amounts of ultra-processed food showed increased heart disease risk factors including higher levels of blood sugar. Number 4. Vegetable and Seed Oils Vegetables and seed oils are things like canola oil, sunflower oil, safflower oil, corn oil, soybean oil, cottonseed oil, grapeseed oil, as well as rice bran oil. These industrial vegetable and seed oils are very unstable. They're full of additives and oxidize very easily because they're extremely processed at high temperatures, which then causes absolute metabolic chaos to your body when you use them for cooking. 
or when you regularly eat foods that contain them. Vegetables and seed oils have been shown to contribute to detrimental health conditions like inflammation, asthma, autoimmune disease like arthritis, mental health problems, diabetes, obesity, heart disease, and even cancer. For context, 20% of the calories from the standard American diet come from these highly inflammatory vegetable oils. The problem is, vegetable oils are found in almost all ultra-processed foods. There it is again. Try cooking with extra virgin olive oil which is primarily monounsaturated fat. Extra virgin coconut oil or butter are also good cooking alternatives. One of the biggest problems with vegetable and seed oils is 99% of restaurants use them for cooking because they're dirt cheap. Which leads us to number 5. Deep fried foods. Fried foods are often cooked in vegetable and seed oils that are high in polyunsaturated fatty acids, which again triggers inflammation and an increase in arthritis symptoms. Fried foods often have other ingredients like gluten-containing breading, refined salt, and added sugar that can also lead to inflammation. Adding to that insult, deep frying foods also create advanced glycation end products or AGEs. When advanced glycation end products accumulate in high amounts in your body, oxidative stress and inflammation may occur. Oxidative stress and AGE formation are linked to disease progression in people with arthritis. People with rheumatoid arthritis may have higher levels of AGEs in their bodies than those without. Advanced glycation end product accumulation in bones and joints may also play a role in the development and progression of osteoarthritis. Foods that are high in advanced glycation end products include deep fried fast food products like donuts, french fries, deep fried chicken and chicken nuggets, American cheese, margarine, mayonnaise, as well as animal foods that are fried or overcooked to the point that it's charred. Think of an overcooked barbecue on the grill. This is why you should never eat deep fried fast food products. When eating out, ask the chef to cook your food in butter or extra virgin olive oil. Number 6. Ultra processed meat. Ultra processed meat are things like chicken nuggets, hot dogs, breakfast sausage, as well as canned meat like corned beef and luncheon meat. People who eat a lot of ultra processed meat may have higher levels of interleukin-6, C-reactive protein, and homocysteine, which are all markers of inflammation, which could make your arthritis symptoms worse. Research published in 2002 found a link between a higher risk of rheumatoid arthritis and consumption of ultra-processed meats, compared with fish and seafood. However, the authors found no link between rheumatoid arthritis and red meat or poultry. There's an important distinction between ground beef, which only has one ingredient, versus ultra-processed meat like hot dogs and chicken nuggets. Sometimes, they get lumped together. Ground beef only has one ingredient and is extremely nutrient-dense, while chicken nuggets is an ultra-processed frankenfood. They're not the same. Humans have been eating minimally processed animal foods for millions of years. Arthritis, on the other hand, is a disease of civilization. Number 7. Foods high in refined salt. The human body needs sodium found in salt in order to function optimally. You would die without salt. The problem is, most people are consuming refined salt from ultra-processed foods. Research has associated high refined salt intake with greater inflammation and an increased risk for developing rheumatoid arthritis. Foods high in refined salt include canned soup, pizza, chips, processed meats, fast food, and basically 99% of ultra-processed foods. Make sure to only use high-quality salt like pink Himalayan salt or Redmond salt. Now, here are some drinks to avoid if you have arthritis. Number one, alcohol. Alcohol is literally poison you're putting in your body. Any study about the beneficial effects of red wine, for example, because it contains resveratrol, is funded by the alcohol industry. Huge conflict of interest. You'd also have to consume a ridiculous amount of red wine to even get some sort of benefit. It's absolutely not worth the trouble. The reality is any amount of alcohol use has many downsides. For example, drinking alcohol once a week or more may increase the risk of osteoarthritis. Alcohol consumption increases levels of uric acid in the body, which can contribute to gout. A 2019 study suggested that alcohol intake may increase spinal structural damage in people with axial spondyloarthritis. Research from 2021 found a link between developing alcohol consumption and rheumatoid arthritis in females. 
Put simply, it's best to limit your alcohol consumption as it may worsen arthritis symptoms. You don't need alcohol as a social lubricant. You're more than interesting enough without it. Number two, sugar sweetened drinks. Same as foods with added sugar, sugary beverages like soda, energy drinks, and designer coffee may significantly increase your risk of arthritis because of refined sugar's inflammatory effect in the body. In a study of 1,209 adults ages 20 to 30, those who drank fructose-sweetened beverages five times per week or more were three times more likely to have arthritis than those who consumed few to no fructose-sweetened drinks. Drinks containing fructose may also lead to an increase in uric acid levels, which can worsen gout. Number three, conventional dairy. Some people find that conventional dairy products like pasteurized milk, ice cream, and other dairy products trigger an inflammatory reaction. Unless you can find high quality dairy in the form of raw milk, raw cheese, or low temperature pasteurized milk if you can tolerate it, it's best to avoid conventional dairy if you have arthritis. And no, plant-based milk substitutes aren't any better if you have arthritis. These fake milk products are extremely processed and often contain added sugar, preservatives, and emulsifiers which can cause inflammation, making your arthritis worse. Now, what should you eat if you have arthritis? Stick to single ingredient, minimally processed, nutrient-dense foods. Real whole foods tend not to trigger an inflammatory response from the body. Things like grass-fed and grass-finished beef contains high-quality protein and other unique and important nutrients for optimal body function. You can also eat cold water fatty fish such as salmon, mackerel, tuna, herring, and sardines because it contains anti-inflammatory omega-3 fatty acids. Berries like blueberries, raspberries, and strawberries are high in antioxidants which can lower inflammation. Low oxalate dark leafy greens like arugula and bok choy contain polyphenols and chlorophyll, which also triggers the release of antioxidants. You can also drizzle some first cold pressed extra virgin olive oil on your favorite dishes to take advantage of its anti-inflammatory properties. Now, if you enjoyed this video, then you don't want to ignore this one. I'll see you there.